Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Sagittarius, I want to give you guys a quick update of what's going on with us. On Friday, May 21st, we're going to be releasing our pendulum gift box. As you guys can see here, these are pendulums. Obviously, if you know what they are, then awesome. If you don't, they're probably not for you. Um, these uh, pendulums have been ritualized through ceremonial magic, consecrated to only communicate with your spirit guides and ancestors. So again, if you're interested, definitely check out our online store Friday, May 21st. We only did a limited amount, 50. As you guys know, we do everything uh, very personal. So I did ritualize and consecrate two sets, which was of 25 and 25. Um, and as you guys can see here, it's the pendulum. It has herbs and uh, crystals specifically for communication. We also will have in some sets uh, the necklaces and the uh, completely went blank um, vials that are for protection, for communication, and to be able to channel. So um, other sets are also going to have either the necklace or a ring like this. So. If you guys are interested, definitely check that out. Like I said, Friday, May 21st. Okay, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on in regards to love and romance. I'm going to be pulling out two sets. One set for you guys to represent your energies and how you're viewing the situation. And the second set is going to be uh, your partner or person of interest, okay? All right, my lovely, so let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see a vivid picture of what is unfolding for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May 2021. How are you doing, Sagittarius? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Oh, we got cards flying out. Okay, we're going to take them. First card here is the Hermit. The Knight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, maybe dealing with a Virgo, uh, Capricorn, Taurus type of energy. You may also be dealing with um, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Next card is the Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Whoa, what's going on here? All right, Sagittarius. You may be experiencing a need of seclusion, like um, being away from the crowd, being away from uh, just craziness. I, I feel you guys pulling your energy or being more mindful about your energy. I see you guys internalizing how you want to move forward. Um, now you do have the two of pentacles here with the nine of pentacles. So I feel that for some of you guys, especially because you have the king of pentacles here, for some of you guys that have been dealing with the situation of trying to work on a relationship or trying to figure out if it's best to walk away from it. I see you guys still deliberating that. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles, though, I do feel that you're going to be embracing um, or wanting to embrace being single. So for those of you guys that are in a relationship and it's just been a bit of a roller coaster, I see you guys making the decision to uh, close, you know, cut ties with... Uh, either the relationship itself or the toxic trait in the relationship. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you're feeling that at this point, uh, the person that you've been dealing with or the person you've been dating um, has kind of distracted you in some way from your goals or aspirations. Um, it's kind of like I'm sensing with the Knight of Swords, uh, a lot of bickering back and forth, a lot of really just being aggressive towards each other it's, it's almost like what i'm hearing is bringing out the worst in each other and i feel that you're no longer vibrating to that energy or you have come to the understanding that uh, you are looking towards the future you're wanting to build something solid you're wanting to have more consistency and more stability in your life and for some of you guys there is a need to cut certain people from your life to be able to achieve that. And this is something that you guys are coming to that understanding, especially when dealing with relationships or partners that are just not good for you. Because um, I do see a bit of aggression here with, with the swords, uh, the knight and the page of swords. 
For others of you, you may be stalking a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo on social media, uh, looking at what they're doing. There could have been almost like a pulling away or some type of distancing, distancing between you two or this connection. Almost a feeling like you guys could have met through circumstance and there's almost like a feeling of a lot of things are going on in my life. A lot of things are going on on their life. And it's kind of like um, you guys kind of drifted or will be drifting apart. Um, that's if you're not already experiencing that. But and we're only talking specifically about those that have had a connection with someone in the past seven months. OK, so for the past seven months, if there was a recent connection with someone, um, someone that you were really feeling or that they were feeling, there's a lot of chemistry going on, a lot of physical, a lot of physical attraction here. Um, I, I feel like you guys kind of went your separate ways for for some of you guys. It could have been that you are or have been dealing with a person from the past however for them they kind of felt like your energy was probably scattered and that's the reason why they started pulling away um and i do see you looking at looking at them or looking at their social medias looking at what they're doing there's like a fear that they're fully embracing their singlehood so it could be a person that gets a lot of attention or it could be a person that dates very often and there's almost like a feeling of having to make a decision, having to make some type of move towards that beginning that you'd never fully got, if that makes sense. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're the one that is attached or has been attached to the past and you're trying to deal with that. All the while having a new connection, uh, things just didn't seem to progress and you're still dealing with, again, the past type of energy. But what they're telling you here is, again, make decisions moving forward to not deal with people that you feel are taking out the worst in you uh this is you know fightings arguments stuff like that in a relationship i mean we all go through uh ups and downs right when we're talking about relationships but if it's something constant then it has more to do with the people in the relationship than what a relationship should be so again, if you're dealing with that, it's time for you to really embrace. And I see you guys really thinking about being single or making the choice to be single. For some of you guys, it could be the fear of being single. Um, but the Nine of Pentacles is asking you to embrace that type of energy. There is almost the need for you to do that, to fully embrace and focus your energy back on yourself, Sagittarius, so that you can be able to move forward, being a little bit more motivated, more goal-oriented, and to have more stability. Okay, let's see what your partner or person of interest is currently dealing with. Spirit guides, please show me um, the energy of Sagittarius person of interest, how they view the situation at the present time. Spirit guides, please give me clear indication of what is unfolding. If you guys are watching their social medias or looking at them, um, you could be almost like in contemplation of in contemplation of making decisions to align yourself to their energy or to their vibration or to what it is that they're wanting. Um, and this could be something that is going to be triggered heavily in the month of May, okay, or unfolding throughout the month. How the view are, sorry, how the person is viewing the situation. Yeah, so I feel that for some of you guys, you guys are definitely uh, dealing with earth energy. We have two kings here, king of pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn type of energy. Five of pentacles here. Seven of cups. Yeah, so the person that you were dealing with could have been this is a, I feel that this is a very like straight shooter. This is a person that is not really into wasting time. There, there could have been a situation or a circ something that happened where it made them feel like you were confused, Sagittarius, or like you didn't know what it was that you want. So they pulled their energy back and they're like, okay, Sagittarius wants to sit there and entertain or deal with other people then, you know, because I feel this person's like more reserved. But behind the scenes, this person has a lot of options, you guys. We have the Seven of Cups right here. Right at the center is the Five of Pentacles. So it's like they were very disappointed. 
in the fact that you chose not to continue or not to progress this connection. Um, but again, with the Seven of Cups, I feel that they have a lot of like options around them right now. I keep getting options for a lot of the readings, a lot of the signs. We have the Eight of Wands here, the Three of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So there's definitely going to be communication opening up. I'm not... Uh, I'm not checking the energies, uh, general energies, but I did glance at this card and it's standing out a lot. Uh, so you may be dealing with an Aquarius as well or Aquarian placement. Um, but what they're telling me here is, again, I feel that destiny is still at play for you Sagittarians. And I think that's something that we've been seeing in the past three months. It's almost like your spirit guides at this point are trying to guide you towards the path you're supposed to be on um and this again the star card you know there's a lot of water energy and it's like uh, she's pouring water into uh into the lake into the the creek this is a symbolization of transmutation so i feel that you guys are currently going through transformative type of energies where you can see here the stars aligning it's almost like they're trying to guide you to the path that you're supposed to be in. And there's a lot of transmutation that's happening right now. So this could be traits that you acknowledge about yourself or acknowledge about others and choosing not to deal with those type of energies anymore because you've outgrown those lessons. So again, I feel that there is a connection uh, that you've been dealing with. And this is something we've been seeing in the past couple of months, like I said, um, where I feel like destiny is at play right now for you guys. And it could be that both of you guys have certain things that you need to work on in order to be able to come together. Um, because the five of pentacles here is, sorry, is it pentacles? Yeah, it is. So the five of pentacles is like, it's almost feeling like the person you were dealing with has like, I guess their expectations of you were extremely high. And there's almost like, I can't believe this is how Sagittarius is acting, or I can't believe, um, you know, that we kind of just fell apart and there's no communication, no nothing. Uh, it, it's almost like a feeling of like real disappointment. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like they their idea or perception of you was like really high uh, in comparison to either how you treated them or how you acted in this situation. Um, so there is definitely disappointment there, but at the same time with the seven of, of cups and the eight of wands, this person has a lot of things going on for them in the aspect of options, romance, and love. Like they have a lot of people, like they're getting a lot of attention right now, especially with the star card. It's almost like this is, and you know that this person is worth pursuing or that this person is someone you're really interested in. With the Eight of Wands, there is communication that will be opening up. Three of Wands is them waiting to hear from you. So I feel that this person's not going to make any movement to try to progress this connection. I feel like they got to a point where they were disappointed. They're not wanting to deal with this anymore. So they are looking or viewing at their options all the while kind of hoping that you're going to reach out because we have the three of wands here. And I feel like you are going to be reaching out, um, Sagittarius, because we do have the page of wands. So it's communication opening up. Um, but I feel like they could have put a lot of effort in this situation or in this connection. And at some point they felt like they had to pull back and they're no longer willing to put that effort. So I feel like if you know exactly who they're talking to you about in re this is i'm going to be honest earth energy uh doesn't necessarily have to be uh earth energy however uh, sorry earth sign however we do go by um energies here and the king of pentacles is a representation of a person that has all their shit together this is a person that is financially stable this could be an entrepreneur this could be a person that runs their own business this is a person that knows exactly what it is that they want uh, and they stay in their power. So again, it, it could be stubborn type of energy as well. But I feel that this is a person that is kind of aligning themselves to what you need at this point in your life, Sagittarius, because your cards here is the king of pentacles, um, having to be grounded, having the need to be more goal oriented or to chase after your goals and to not 
be deterred or not to be distracted f from other things that are going on in your life on a personal aspect. So again, I feel that there is a connection here. I just feel like you guys both could have missed this opportunity. And I feel that you still have the possibility of making something happen only because, yes, they may be dealing with other people or they may be, you know, weighing their options, but there's still hope here. There's still desire to want to hear from you uh, or to want to move forward in this connection, especially with the star card. Uh, someone is definitely being hopeful about the situation. So again, my advice to you is if you feel that this person that you recently met is worth pursuing, um, don't let your expect, not expectation, sorry, don't let your experiences from the past taint you from feeling like you deserve less or like this person wouldn't be interested in you because I do see that there was some type of feeling uh, on their part of like being let down, like they actually expected this progression of connection to move forward. Um, but I feel like you could have been distracted or other things could have been going on or you could have been entertaining the past. So again, um, the opportunities there is up to you how you want to proceed. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.